At Tullahoma, Tennessee, President Truman appears to honor the memory of General Hap Arnold. Mrs. Arnold, widow of the wartime Air Force chief, is also greeted by crowds, present to hear the president deliver a fighting speech, reaffirming his administration's foreign policy. The president has an attentive audience as he raps sharply at advocates of war expansion. He also answers Russia's peace feelers in Korea. Of course, we cannot promise that there will not be a world war. The Kremlin has it in its power to bring about such a war if it desires. It has a powerful military machine and its rulers are absolute tyrants. We cannot be sure what the Soviet rulers will do, but we can put ourselves in a position to say to them, attack, and you will have the united resources of the free nations thrown against you. At <laughs> attack, and you will be confronted by a war you cannot possibly win. We are ready to join in a peaceful settlement in Korea now, just as we've always been. But it must be a real settlement, which fully ends the aggression and restores peace and security to the area and to the gallant people of Korea. In Korea and in the rest of the world, we must be ready to take any steps which truly advance us toward world peace. Following his address, he officiates at the unveiling and dedication ceremonies for the Arnold Engineering Development Center, which is forging the tools the Air Force will need for preparedness, which is coupled with an open door for peace. Peace.